Light it up, baby. So this is just like uh, those string lights you see around patios. Like I said, I have them out in my backyard and they're really, really nice. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it a lot. That's so nice. All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival Mode. We're picking up just about where we left off here. After the end of the last episode up at the cozy cabin on the uh, Pink Sheep Clan Bluff, and we're sitting by the fire, nice cozy brand new fire that we made in the last episode, trying to stay dry and warm and cozy since it is raining outside. This is a terrible Terrible, dreary day. We're just uh, enjoying the homestead for the time being. And do you ever get that feeling you're being watched? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, you two. You can't go. Well, actually, you can go outside if you want. Whoa. Okay. Everybody's leaping. Leaping lizards. Come on outside and play. I knew it. I knew it. False alarm. These cats. These cats. All right. Fine. Then sit. Sit in the windowsill and sulk until the sun comes up and the rain stops okay fine uh yeah so here's the plan today my friends we are going to build a patio right here at least when the rain stops although i guess we can just go to bed it looks like nighttime is rolling in um yeah patio right here thinking some kind of stone tile a combination of smooth stone and smooth andesite right here and uh, it'll lead all the way down here. It's going to be a very big patio, I'm thinking. We'll have some furniture, out outdoor furniture, of course, and a big fire pit that we can sit around and roast marshmallows and bacon and so forth. And then over here, I'm thinking a garden, which we might not get to finishing today, but we'll save the space for a garden. And then a, uh, a path down here. And I'm thinking a pool of water for our axolotl friends, which we need to go and collect back at the uh, Lush Cave. So we might make a trip back to the Lush's Cave and get the rest of the axolotls, as well as some azaleas, because I'd like to use that in our patio build today, um, and some glowberries, because I want to put lighting up. It's going to look really awesome. I can't wait. can't wait to get started. However, I do want the rain to stop. So maybe we should go underground while it's raining and grab some more andesite because I don't think we're going to have enough andesite. I don't know. Let's see. We're going to need a lot of slabs for this. Let's make mostly slabs on our cutter. And we'll make some full-size blocks here as well. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Let me sleep on it. Buttercup's going to come up to bed. Okay, come on. Hurry it up. Hurry up. I'm waiting. Buttercup. Oh, you coughed up some string, huh? You got a fur ball there? That is quite the trick you got there. All right, how about if we, um, let's get started on the patio now. And if we run out of andesite, we'll just go get more. No big deal. So I think we have everything we need here to get started at least. I can't believe Buttercup coughed up a fur ball in the house. You gotta do that stuff outside. You had a chance. I opened the door and everything. Uh-huh, sure. Likely excuse. <laughs> All right, let's put the fur ball away up here. Yeah, yes, I, right. I guess it's better than doing it on the bed. That's true. Now go outside and play. Come on outside, everybody. Come on out. Come on out. Let's go. Get little flea bags. They just love that fire. They just love that fire. They will not come outside for some reason. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get started. I'll leave the door open if they want to come out. That's perfectly fine. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I am going to get rid of all of the wood because we're going to put stone in here. There go the doors. No big deal. This is going to be stone, so we have to remove the wood. And we might leave that part down there as wood for a little contrast, maybe. But this, I want nice stone tiles. We'll use the smooth stone uh, slabs and andesite slabs, the polished that we just made up. And again, if we run out, we might have to jump down in a hole and go collect some more which is not a terrible thing because we like to do that did i just see somebody whip by oh yeah i did buttercup and here's jeeves okay well you're in the hole get out of the hole thank you <laughs> uh where's me slabs there's me slabs so let's start out with uh let's put slabs hey what are you pushing for um we'll start with the slabs here put the door back in and then well, you guys are really interested in this project aren't you 
they think they own the patio. They think they own everything, cats. That's the thing about cats. They think they own the whole house. So beep, 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 beep. And we're gonna put the andesite on the sides. It's gonna be kind of a, uh, like a darker border. And then we'll have these steps go down, I think, like so. Uh, let's see how this looks. Um, you know what else I'm thinking? Maybe I should have left that dirt there, but uh, I'm thinking maybe under the window we could have grass right here, right? And have like some flowers growing up, uh, which means we might have to get rid of this to let the grass grow back up right there before I close that off. But in the meantime, we can close this off. And I'm wondering where the steps are going to go. Uh, maybe right in line with the house. Step, step. Like that. And I'm all out of smooth slabs. Let's go make some smooth slabs. Got our cutter right here. Uh, we'll just have this come out like that. There we go. And then more gray or andesite over here and then maybe a solid right here and then this obviously i'm going to match it up on this side i'm just waiting for the grass to grow back since i cut it yeah let's do dirt there and dirt here so we like i said we can put some plants here and some flowers that should look very nice um all right so so far so good you like it hey where are you going come back out it's a beautiful day let's put the doors back up keep the, keep the cats outside <laughs> Oh, all right, fine. Go back in. <laughs> I guess uh, we got house cats here. Right back to your favorite chair. All right, it is very comfortable, I gotta say, even though it's made of stone. There you go. Sit on the windowsill, and you can sit where you want to go. Pick a spot. Right up on the windowsill. Okay, fantastic. House cats, I guess. That's fine. No judgment here. No judgment here. All right, now, where were we? Here comes the grass. The grass is growing. I guess we did, we don't have to take those blocks out. It looks like they're growing naturally from underneath anyway. But we'll just leave that alone for the time being. Let's grab our axe. I'm going to need a new axe here. Let's just get rid of all the wood first. All right, that ought to do. Good morning, Wilson. Good morning, Samantha. I'm sorry I ignored you two. I was messing with the cats. You know how cats can be, right? Right? Right, exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to say it out loud, though. But I don't think they heard you. They're, they're inside. Um, all right, anyway. So let's put some pathing down here. This will be a stair right here. Uh, what did I want to do here again? I think I wanted to... Let's see. I want to have maybe some dirt here. Well, grass. And maybe some plants on this side as well. Like two rows of plants, maybe. I guess we'll put that dirt back up like so. And then we'll surround it in polished andesite. Um, hold on. Let's go over here and do this side. This will come down. And then finally, we'll have one like one little step right here. Now, those do not match, do they? It's like an alternate uh, smooth stone and andesite design. Very lovely. <laughs> hey, get your head out of the fence. <laughs> And we're going to have like a big flat wall. And then maybe in the center here, we will have a fire. So we'll have a fire, a little fireplace over here and a fire pit over there. So we're going to have nice, warm, cozy fires all about. This is going to be a solid wall and I'm all out. All out. All out of andesite. All right. Well, we're going to go and uh, grab some andesite because that went fast. Let's go gather the troops. If anybody wants to come down, maybe one of the house cats. All right, let's get to bed. Actually, we don't have to go to bed. We're going to be underground anyway, right? Although I should probably get a good night's rest. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have all full energy in the morning. You want to come up and sleep in the bed this time, Buttercup? All right, just don't throw up on my bed, okay? Hold up. I got to get this right here. I want the green. This one right here, the weathered. The weathered. Yes, weathered. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit longer for those. These copper blocks are going to turn into furniture or outdoor furniture nice durable metal chairs um come on come on buddy this is your chance so here we, here he comes okay here she comes nope right back to the windowsill okay never mind i think they're trying to get to the bed to be honest they're right under it and they're trying to reach the bed but for some reason they can't figure out how to use the stairs <laughs> So I hate to do this, but we're going to have to lead them up. We'll lead Buttercup up. Come on. I'll show you how to get up here, okay? It's really quite simple. See? It's right here. 
There it is. The whole time it was right above you. All right, now get in. Hop in. There you go. That's a good girl. Now push over. <laughs> good night. And no fur balls in the morning, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's, she threw up in the fire. That's fine. <laughs> it's better than the bed. You. What have you been eating anyway? Yikes. All right. Well, let's just throw that in there for now. <laughs> you going to stay in today? All right. I'll bring Jeeves along. We're going to go in a hole with Jeeves, I think. Jeeves, you coming? I think uh, I think Buttercup's going to stay behind. Oh, hi, Buttercup. Wow. Buttercup caught up. Great. And while we're here, we can stop and get the stone I cooked up. Got some smooth stone we might need for later as well. Ooh, copper, too. Excellent. You just woke up, Buttercup. Come on. You're all rested up. Buttercup's going to take a nap, even though she just slept all night long. We're looking for andesite. Do you guys know what andesite looks like? So we got a little bit of building today, a little bit of adventure, a little exploration. We do it all. We know it all here in Minecraft 1.18 Hardcore Survival. Oh, it's a witch! Witch, guys, run! I don't want them to get poisoned and die. I have a habit of killing cats off. Come on over here. I can handle a witch. You can't help me here. This enemy is beyond you. There she is. Huh. Wham! Bang! Pop! Zap! Zinger. Glowstone dust. Okay, that's cool. We'll come back down here and explore more fully at some point. But right now, I want to focus on getting the andesite and finishing up our, um, our patio job. Oh, 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 it's gravel. Dang it. I thought that was andesite. It kind of looks similar in the dark. Ooh, what is that over there? Something green. Oh, it's a tree. <laughs> it leads right outside. <laughs> Very cool. Here we go. Lots of sunshine. <laughs> Look at this. We got granite. We have diorite all over the place. I feel like I must be walking right past the andesite because it does blend in with uh, regular stone and also gravel. It's hard to see. Aha! Andesite! We got some! Yay! All right, let me grab this andesite so we can finish our patio job. Pop! All right! Oh, hold up. Pop! Okay, I think we're done popping. Let's check. We now have 63 andesite. And, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't want to get popped like that. It's not the kind of pop we're talking about, my friend. Jeeves. Really? You two? Now you're throwing up in the bedroom? Anything to say for yourself? Uh, it's a gift. What do you mean a gift? <laughs> Okay, thanks. Uh, I guess it's the thought that counts, right? Sure. Anyway, it is now morning and it's time to get back to work. I've got all of the stone all cut up and polished, etc. So we should be able to get this done now, hopefully. Well, the patio part anyway. We still have to go to the lush cave and get some bits and pieces to complete the whole project. But we can at least get this part done right here. This is going to be, like I said, just kind of a... Uh, a solid blocky thing all the way around and then when this finishes growing um we're gonna put some plants in here this actually has to go we don't want we don't want the dirt here this is going to be framed in uh an andesite try to save on some of these slabs you know what i mean uh the uh the full-size blocks rather so that's the way we get up now i might have to push this back a little bit for space purposes, but excuse me, well said. Um, let's put in our stone brick. Let's put some stairs down. I'm thinking this is gonna look something like this. It's gonna be a small fireplace, nothing too extravagant, methinks. Um, and the fire will go right there. Let's go make a fire. A couple of campfires, because we're gonna put a fire pit down as well. That there, and that there, and I'm thinking... You there? How's that look? That looks okay, right? Looks like a kind of a fireplace. Outdoor fireplace. And then we'll put the fire right here, although we should get rid of the wood underneath. And we'll put that last stone brick down there. And then the fire. Um, you know what? Yeah, we're going to need one more stone brick for the front. I don't think that should be wood, because wood burns, right? And I also want to make um, I want to make a grate in front of that, and that will be a, um, a trap door, an iron trap door. We're going to place that right in front so the animals can't get in there. I don't think they can get in there. And the smoke is still rising right through that block. That's pretty cool. What do you think, guys? 
Yeah, Wilson likes it. You want to get right in front? Okay. You guys can chill right there for a little bit, okay? All right, now let's go back over here and finish this spot now that the grass is all growing up. All growing up. We can put in a block here and a block there, and this steps are going to lead down to a whole another section of patio. Very large. Very, very large indeed, and I guess we'll do it down on this level here. Grab this shovel. Yeah, I'm going to have to dig up all this dirt, I think. So hold on one sec. Where's my... Um, Polished andesite. I gotta make some more smooth stone slabs. I thought I had some. Uh, oh, yeah, they're right here. I had all this in here. What the heck? Right, right, right. Got plenty more. Plenty more where that came from. So I'm gonna have to get rid of all this dirt. And this is gonna take some time. So let me get my shovels out. And we'll do some digging. I'm gonna dig it all the way back. Do you dig it? Do you dig it, Jeeves? Jeeves is pretty hip. Hip and groovy. All right, so that is done. Now let's uh, let's grab some of these polished andesite slabs. We'll finish this part right here. I want to make like a border, grayish border. And uh, I do have kind of an idea in my head about how big this thing is going to be. Um, I'm thinking about 10 or 11 blocks this way. I want it to be fairly sizable because I want to fit the fire pit in here as well as some furniture. And I want to put a pergola or a like a pavilion or canopy type thing over it to keep the rain off and and to shade a little bit right so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine uh ten eleven that's large <laughs> that's pretty large isn't it but it'll it'll do it's gonna look very nice trust me let's pop that in there make that nice and solid um, and I'm thinking about maybe keeping this in line with the end of the house. And we'll just come out this way right here all the way and match it up on this side and then across. Uh, yeah, you better move, buddy. You don't want to get trapped in there forever and ever. All right, I'm going to need some large blocks of andesite here. Let's make the rest of these into the biggins. What, you want to come out? I think, uh, I think Buttercup wants to come out now. Oh, nope. I guess everybody's going back in again. All right. They'll, they may join us later. So here's my thought over here. We're just going to fill in the center of this with the, uh, lighter colored tile. And I think that's a nice contrast with the dark gray on the outside, sort of bordering it. And then the inside is going to be all of these nice smooth stones and look at that perfect perfect match i meant to do that <laughs> uh right wilson knows me better <laughs> me and math we don't get along very well but that seemed to work out pretty well now what i think i might want to do is have a strip of grass here and then the border coming out even more and then we'll have um uh, oh you finally decided to join us didn't you <laughs> Okay, great. Yeah, I think yeah, I know we need a step there. I was just talking about that. Slow down. Let me let me think. Um, yeah, just a step coming down, right? And then, um, what's that? <gasps> well, we can't have creeper sneak up on us with the kitty cat, so that's kind of nice. We can work right through the night, but I do like to have sunshine so you guys can see. But anyway, let's make a row of grass here. This will turn into grass, and let's borderize it. If that's the thing with the big old blocks hopefully we have enough of these i think this is going to be the end of it i think so there we go borderized uh actually this has to go and borderized so this is all going to turn to grass so we can put a row of bushes in here i'm thinking the small azalea bushes right um and then over here i'm thinking using azalea leaves cut off the trees as a border around here around the garden right i think that's going to look pretty darn nice if i do say so myself all right so that's that for now i need to do something about this right here uh we're gonna have to get rid of that grass of course and we can put in um we can put in well i don't think we're gonna need those there let's let's try to save on the big blocks and we'll just use the slabs Waste not, want not. And then I'll finish this off with wooden slabs. Our deck here. I might extend the deck outward a little bit more to give a, a, some more breathing room here. So you're not so close to the fire, you know? Like maybe one or two blocks 
so that's my idea so far. And again, I want to make a nice pergola or canopy up above. Put the furniture here and the brick. So we need we need brick, like that kind of brick. Not the stone brick, but the brick brick. Right? I know it's very confusing. So many bricks. Come on in, it's nighttime. Get up in your chair. There you go. <laughs> they do love this windowsill. It's just kind of happened to work out really well with the bed above them. Because it looks like they want to sit on the windowsill, which cats tend to do, right, in real life. So that that's a good little trick right there. If you want cats on a windowsill, put a bed above it. And you trick them. That's pretty cool. All right, let me get organized here. I need, like I said, I need to grab some brick. Oh, who left the door open? Letting all the flies out, cats. Um, let me go see if I have any brick here. Oh, we do have a tiny bit of brick. It's not going to be enough. So I'm going to need to make some more brick. I think I have more clay around here somewhere. I know I have some clay around. Ow. Ah, there it is. Okay, it's up here in the, one of the cupboards. All right, let's get some of that cooking up. Not all of it. We'll do like 32, I guess. Get some brick made up so we can make our fire pit in the morning. So, oh, 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 oh no, it's raining. Oh, drat. Oh, oh, I got to go grab those chairs. I got to grab my chairs, my copper chairs. <laughs> They're going to be nice and sturdy. I wanted them greenish like this. We're going to have to wax them too so they don't get any more weathered, right? All right, so we got our weathered copper. That's three of them. We do have to get some honeycomb to wax them. I don't want to put them out like that, but I'm going to turn them into um, uh, furniture. I'm going to make some chairs. All right, anyway, I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning, and we'll finish this job. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. The sun is up. The rain is gone, and I love this view right here. It's so lovely. Look at it. It's majestic even, you could say. Anyway, let's get back to work and finish up this project. Um, all right, we're going to grab some jungle wood and also some birch because we're going to use this stuff in our uh, pergola build. I think that's that. Let's go check on the clay. It should be done by now. We don't really need a lot of brick. Just a wee bit. And I'm thinking I screwed this up, guys. I think I have to move this over one more. Yeah, I totally, totally did. Drat. All right, well, that's a little bit of a time waster right there. This is going to be all pushed over. So let me get rid of this. I'm going to put the dirt right here where this row is. Yeah, that's my bad. Oh, well. All right, you know what? I'm going to just bang a couple of these out. Maybe that'll speed this process up to get that to turn into grass. And we'll fix that later. Yeah, let me go make some more smooth stone. There we go. Now we can fill this up. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Slow it down. Slow your roll, buddy. Just like that. And I'm thinking maybe we'll put um, the darker gray in these corners here, just to give it a little bit of a uh, little little bit of a design there. Nothing too fancy, but just break up the squariness, if that is such a thing. Yeah. Okay. That works. And do I have... Yes, I do. I have some of these. I'm going to put these here and just have that come out a little bit more. And we'll worry about that later. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Looking good, if I do say so myself. And I do. Now, let's get our fire pit in here. So let's grab our brick. Regular old brick. So I'm thinking maybe we'll have um, some furniture here, one space, and then the the fire right here. So we have to put this in the center, right? Which would be, well, let's put the brick down first. Because once you put the fire down, you can't get it back without breaking it. So yeah, very, very simple fire pit. Nothing too fancy. And that should leave enough space here for the furniture on this side. And furniture on this side. A little space there in between. Uh, You know what? I think we're going to move it back one more i want more space over here this does not give us enough space for walking around so we're going to move this back a little bit um right here let's put that there get rid of the one in the middle and that's where the fire is going to go right there and now that i know this is right i can go ahead and put that down pretty sure this is right <laughs> hold on that doesn't look right yeah very simple fire i might put some iron fencing around it, some iron bars to keep the animals out. 
Um, and then over here, we're gonna have to expand this out a little bit, actually. This is not right. We're gonna add a little bit more floor space on this side. You there, boom, boom, boom. You there, and then we will put solid blocks, like, right here. And block it off. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do! Very, very nice. So, now what we can do is uh, make the pergola. Yeah, let's go make the pieces we need, which will be a whole bunch of fence and slabs, but I want to use jungle wood for this. So we'll make a bunch of slabs. It's going to be the roof. So we can do it two, one of two ways. We can do a pergola, which is uh, not a solid roof, and that's to let some sunshine in. It just provides a little bit of shade, or we can do a solid cover to keep the rain off. And maybe we'll try both styles and then see which one we like the best. And we're going to use birch for the um, for the, the fencing. These will be the posts for the pergola thingy or something. You'll see what I mean once we get started. <laughs> Hard to explain, so I should stop yabbering, jabbering, yabbering, jabbering, and uh, just get on with the build. There's one quick change I want to make here to match these up. Right, let's see. There's one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, this is wrong. Let's get rid of these. And we'll put in the uh, the gray, dark gray here. Knock that out. And you trying to get this thing as symmetrical as possible without looking too weird. All right. Yeah, that's good. And now the pergola thingy, my jigger. It's going to go like this, and it's already getting dark, isn't it? Holy smokes, these days, they go by so fast. This is probably going to go up three, actually. But we're going to use the... Uh, bur well, <laughs> I'm getting tired. I'm missing. I'm going to have to go to bed. All right. Hey, I saw that, Jeeves. That behavior is unacceptable. Stop. Hey, stop pushing your sister off the chair, you big bully. Now, you're in a timeout. You stay right there and think about what you've done. Buttercup, you come outside and play. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. They all want to be on that windowsill and they don't want to share. Um, I'm thinking we might need a little bit more of this for the uh, actual canopy type roof instead of the pergola. So like I said, the per pergola is just like an open air um, framework. It doesn't really have a roof on it. So let's get up here and check it out. And let's do this. So we're going to come up one, and then this is just going to go across. I guess I didn't really need to make that scaffolding. And I do actually have some bamboo. One of these days, I'll make real scaffolding when I get to it. So we'll just bring this across, get a little more head space now. And then to complete the pergola, and I don't think I'm going to have enough fencing. Holy cow. But let me just give you an idea of what it would look like. It's going to go like this across. Um, normally all these would be completely filled in. Do I have enough to go? Uh, oh, I don't like that anyway. Well, actually, that's not so bad. That, <laughs> that kind of looks cool. <laughs> that's a pergola. Might want to change this color out, though. Use a different color wood. But that's essentially a pergola. We're just missing three pieces. And yet, uh, it's open air. It's not going to keep the rain off, but you get a little bit of sun. You get a little bit of shade. And that's the point of a pergola. Let's just finish it up, and then we'll we'll try the roof another time. All right, three last bits to finish this off. And again, I might want to make that a different color. You know, a different color wood, but uh, I guess that's okay. All right, so that's the pergola. Now, when it rains, we're going to get soaked. So that's the only drawback. And we still have to get our lighting in here, and I want to use the glow berries and glowberries are not going to attach to the bottoms of these uh will it so i wonder if we hold on let's uh, let's try it with these slabs right here yeah i was going to do a roof with the cherry um that's going to be probably too low right maybe we could raise the whole pergola or we can put the lights out here Whoop. All right, well, what we need to do is go get the glow berries and come back here and then try it out and see how this looks because it might look a little funky or it might look really cool, especially at night. I don't know. But let's just go ahead and surround the whole pergola with our cherry wood. I love this color. And we can get rid of this dirt now, I guess. 
Get rid of the dirt. Oh, this is almost done. One last piece of grass, but we can go ahead and put our solid blocks in now to frame it. There you go. And we're going to put, like I said, some little azalea trees right here. Hey, what happened here? There we go. Wow. You know what? I really like this pergola. I like the way that looks. Maybe we don't need the roof. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get ready for an adventure. We're going to have to go get our uh, glow berries and some azaleas and all that jazz to finish the decorating part of this thing. So let me just dump out some of the stuff we don't need and we're going to go on a grand adventure, my friends. All right, I'm going to head out and go get everything we need to finish this project. Um, I'm going to bring Ragnar on this trip to keep me safe and have some company. Hop in the boat, Rags. Ooh, rose bushes. We need these. Oh, first time. First time we got roses. Excellent. I'm going to grab a few of these. Just saw them from the river. <laughs> and we can put these in our garden as, as well as our patio. All right, back on the road. Shh, you want some lilies too? Oh, our first lily. Wow. Oh, go. <laughs> Step on the gas, Ragnar! Uh, how many did I get? I only got one lily? Oh no, I need more lilies. Alright, well, while he's in the water swimming, I'll grab a few more <laughs> lilies of the valley. These will look really nice in our garden too. Our first lilies of the valley! Excellent. Oh my gosh, there's a llama here. Are you lost? You poor thing! Hold on, let me help you. Got the lead. Sorry, you can't fit. <laughs> he's gonna try spinning on us. We're back! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> Here we are, back at our luscious cave. This is where it all began, my friends. All the fun and the excitement and the adventure. This hole right here that led to all of our underground living. And whoa, boy! Watch out! Oh, Magic Mike! How are we doing? Oh, gosh, watch out. Coming down. Somebody's coming down. Ow! Dude, hey, stop! Holy smokes, that guy. Sheesh, he's a heck of a shot, isn't he? Wow, look at this place. What a mess. Hey, Mike, you're supposed to take care of the place. Well, I guess he's busy. He's busy with the band. All right, let's go in and say hi. I hear chickens. Gotcha. All right, we got Yeep. Oh, there's Beep. Pick up Beep. Oh, get over here, Beep. Come on, it's time to move. We're going to a new house. You're going to love it there. Um, And we need Weep. And then, is that it? We got Beep, Weep. Yeep. And of course we have Peep back at the uh, grotto. Alright, I guess that's everybody. <laughs> okay, I think I've got everything that we need to finish up our patio and pergola. And also some, uh, some flowers and stuff for our garden when we get to that. Eventually, maybe in the next episode. Boy, do I miss this place. This was a lot of fun to build. Oh, I wanted to sleep here. Uh, for old time's sake, but it's daylight. <laughs> All right, well, let's get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. We'll be back again someday. I don't know when. Going up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Magic Mike. And the Trout Slappers. Whoa. Oh, Luscious. Hey! Okay, that hurt. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, let's try this again. Try not to get knocked off. There he is. Oh, you shot yourself, you dang fool. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. I'm not going down there with, with Ben. <laughs> all right. I will meet you all back. Uh, well, back at home. We're back. Check out that cozy cabin on the bluff above the grotto, also known as the blotto is what we'll call it. <laughs> Bluff plus grotto equals blotto. And yes, my friends, I do have a mushroom behind me as I have stopped at the uh, mushroom island and uh, snatched one up. So now we have two mushrooms. Who is that? Luscious. Hi, Luscious. Hey, just hang out here, okay? You can hang out with uh, Ragnar, keep him company. Rags is going to stay in the boat right now. I need to get up and finish this project because the uh, maybe we're running out of time. This episode is super duper long. <laughs> Good morning! It is now time to complete this project, the patio plus pergola. So let's uh, let's do some wax on, wax off, well just wax on. So we've got the weathered copper blocks here and some honeycomb that we got from our luscious cave. Um, and now we have wax, weathered copper. We're going to throw these over here on the saw. Watch your step. 
And we're gonna turn these into furniture. So that's basically furniture right there. Stairs. Okay, so let's head outside and why don't we bring the kitty cats? How about uh, Jeeves? You're no longer in timeout. Come out, come on, come on outside. Uh, and now it is time to finish this project. So we need to put the berries up here. This seems really low, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that's going to be too low because if we touch it, we get electrocuted. Yeah, that's not going to work. So get rid of that. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to move this up. Oh boy. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me raise this up one block and then uh, we're going to put the lighting all the way around. We're going to string up the lights and then turn them on. It's going to be gorgeous, especially at night. I do actually, well, <laughs> uh, I do have lights like this on my patio in real life. Out in my backyard, and uh, yeah, the lights add a whole new dimension, especially at night. All right, that's about it. Excellent. Now we can hang up our lights here, string them all the way across, and now we have much more headroom. Beautiful. Did I miss any spots? Nope. Looks like that's. Uh, hey, 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 stop growing. We don't want them to hang down too low, so what we're gonna need to do right now, right away, is get the lights. The light bulbs uh, put in, <laughs> and then we can snip them with our uh, with our shears so they don't grow down any farther. But we got to get the lights on first. Light it up, baby! And voila! I think that's all of them. Let's get the shears out. Where's my shears at? And now we just go around and we snip all of the bulbs. Yeah, so this is just like uh, those string lights you see around patios. Like I said, I have them out in my backyard, and they're really, really nice. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it a lot. That's so nice. Now, it looks like the smoke is not going up here, is it? Because of this, uh, this piece right here. Let's get rid of that. Let the smoke out. Be free, smoke. Now, let's finish this up here with the flowers. I'm thinking right here. We're going to go with the azalea. Um, how about one there, one there, and one there, and then maybe some smaller flowers in between, like these azure blue. There we go, beautiful. And over here, we'll put out the roses. I think that'll look nice. Just have maybe three roses and some smaller something in here. What would be nice? Maybe the lilies. Let's throw in the lilies. Yeah, look at that, red and white, gorgeous. If I do say so myself. What do you want over here, Jeeves? You think blue? Jeeves says blue. All right, well, how about some corn flowers and some oxide daisies? Look at that. All right, fantastic. Oh, and the furniture, right. All that waxing on and waxing off. So let's put the furniture here as well. We'll have maybe like a couch here and then two seats here. Look at that. I love it, guys. So nice. All right, we just have to step back and have a look at this. And I think we are done for the time being. Let's get up on high. We must go higher. We must go all the way to the top. <laughs> this is about the highest point we have to look at our lovely patio with pergola top. And I really, really like it, guys. I think it's absolutely divine. I mean, there's a few tweaks we can make, and if you have any ideas, put it down in the comments below. Wow, indeed. What do you think, Jeeves? <laughs> Jeeves wants to come up in the tree. Come on, you're a cat. You don't know how to get in a tree? Oh, wait. One more thing. Holy cow, I completely forgot that I also grabbed some spore blossoms. I went back for spore blossoms before I left the cave. Um, and I want to put these up somewhere. Will they hang up here? Oh my gosh, they do. They actually do hang up here. Holy moly, that is amazing. And they, they dropped the little, little things. Yeah. Hopefully you're not allergic to, uh, spores. Oh, wow. That looks really nice. Maybe even a couple more here. Yep, I love it. If you have any ideas, tips, or tricks, or enhancements, let me know down in the comments, and I'll be happy to entertain them. And uh, I think that is it for now. Ah, hey, 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 Whoa, boy. I don't have my shield. Uh, it's in my pocket. And I'm taking fire. Uh, let's get in the house. Quick. Well, that's it for now, my friends. Um, I'm going to have to walk this off. Yeah, I think it'll fall out eventually, right? 
Yeah, okay. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.